Okay, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh So we meet again uh, For this uh, week We will cover chapter 5 Which is the letter collection and reception For PST 104 Basic Natural Rubber Processing In this chapter basically uh, We will cover on field hygiene and practice And letter collection and reception itself Okay So uh, the lesson outcome for this chapter uh, to describe the importance of field hygiene and practice, to explain the step involved in letter collection and reception, and finally to discuss the method of transporting latex. So basically, uh, I only have a few slides for this uh, chapter, but it is a good, uh, very important uh, practices that we need to apply during the collections of latex in order to have a very good uh, quality of latex. Uh, and finally, we can produce a high quality uh, final product itself. Okay, uh, this is some sort of the image uh, that uh, related to this chapter, which is, as you can see here, uh, in a field, uh, or what we call that uh, rubber tree plantation. Usually, uh, basically, you will have two types of... Uh, uh, what we call the raw material that we collect. The first one is um, latex itself, okay, susu getah. And the second one will be a uh, cup lumps, okay. Uh, so this is the illustration how they collect uh, those uh, latex uh, that drips in the uh, cups uh, and timely collection. They will weed uh, the latex. Usually, uh, the buyer. Uh, we'll pay uh, based on the DRC content. Uh, later on, on uh, next semester, you will cover PST 221, which is uh, uh, basic natural rubber processing and testing. I uh, will measure the DRC itself because the latex uh, price uh, strongly dependent on the RC value. It's not the total volumes of the latex. This one is a cup lumps ataupun kita panggil bahasa Melayu ialah getah scrub. Okay. And then they will store in um, storage uh, container before it transported to uh, industry. Okay. So, um, when they, uh, the latex arrives to the industry, okay, uh, the latex will go through in... Um, what we call this uh, chemical treatment for preservation, etc., filtration, etc., and some of the industry will uh, immediately uh, or will allow it to settle down within 24 hours or overnight, and then they will produce a letter concentrate. Okay, also letter concentrate will be covered next chapter. What is letter concentrate? Uh, in Malaysia, kita panggil getah pekat lah. Kita akan uh, increase. Uh, the uh, draw rubber content, the RC, significantly up to 60%, uh, okay, before we can produce a final product, uh, especially for dipping uh, products, uh, manufacturing process. Other than latex, we also have a cup lumps, okay, cup lumps ataupun getah scrub yang kita tengok. Uh, usually, uh, I think... Uh, my probably some of you tak pernah tengok tapi I do believe some of you uh, pernah tengok that very significant with uh, pungent smell of this uh, cup lam ataupun getah scrub this uh, cup lam usually uh, left overnight uh, or we call the leftover of latex that dripping into a cups and they allow its, uh, the latex to autocoagulate it and the next morning they collect these uh, autocoagulated uh, latex or cup lumps uh, as a dry rubber or we call that uh, cup lump itself. Okay, uh, so this uh, the second uh, uh, forms of raw material being collected in a rubber field. Okay, so we move uh, to field hygiene and practices 5.1 for this chapter. Field hygiene. Cleanliness is the main factor on determining uh, high quality products, starting from tapping, collection at rubber field and receiving in uh, factories. The most important aspect of preventing deterioration and coagulation in latex is hygiene. Everything that com comes into contact with field latex must be kept clean. Several methods of, of remedy 
and to control latex sensitivity and allergens to the worker handling latex. Okay, so apa yang kita perlu tahu? Latex ni perlukan kebersihan lah. Of course, if uh, this latex handling uh, industry, you need to clean uh, the utensil, the storage, the transport daily. After you use uh, this equipment, you need to clean it, uh, all the tools and disinfectant. Use some disinfectant to uh, eliminate or to minimize the growth of bacteria. As we know, as uh, the bacteria grow in your tools or equipment, they will impart uh, on the uh, what the quality of your uh, collected uh, latex or rubber uh, cup lumps. Uh, later on, in uh, next semester, PST221, we will cover on VFA volta fatty acid, which strongly related on the uh, micro bio activities that reducing uh, the qualities of the latex itself and might probably uh, unab- uh, this latex unable to be produced for latex deep goods okay but they can uh, always be used as a dry rubber you don't worry about that uh, later on uh, you will cover next semester how to measure uh, the stabilities of the latex uh, uh, how to measure uh, the microbial activities of the latex itself. Okay, but this semester uh, we will teach you how to handle latex properly so that you will minimize uh, or you will have a uh, good quality of latex. Okay, the hygiene is controlled and carefully taken from the first step of tapping until receiving of the latex in factory. So, this hygiene and uh, this process involved from the beginning of the process itself. So, uh, it's starting from the tapping itself. Uh, masa awak menoreh pokok getah sendiri, you dah kena jaga kebersihan. Okay, until uh, you disinfectants of the uh, your tools. Okay, for tapping process, you need to ensure the cleanliness of the tapping knives, spouts, etc. Okay, shears. Uh, if you tap your rubber tree daily or alternating days, you need to make sure the knife is very clean, very sharp. The spouts that allow the uh, latex to drip into a cup is clean. Uh, before you allow the latex to drip in the cups, okay? Bucket and tap, tapping cups. So, uh, every morning, uh, when you collect the leftover or we call the cup lump itself, you need to make sure the tapping cup is clean. A bucket, you need to collect the uh, cup lump is clean. Replace dirty and broken tapping cups, okay? So, uh, more likely, uh, you will carry... Uh, what we call the extra or spare of the tapping cups to replace any broken or the tea uh, tapping cups because you want to produce high quality, high cleanliness of your latex, okay? Or you can also do a timely replacement of your tapping cups. Avoid contamination of bark, shaving and tree releases. So during the tapping process, so you need to make sure there is no bark uh, but shaving three laces drop into a cup. If it happened, you need to remove it before you allow the latex to be collected in a tapping cups. And then you need to, uh, last chapter I did mention the anticoagulant or we call the battery sites or uh, what we call the uh, uh, conservants. Okay, to uh, promote uh, coagulations to promote uh, at, to avoid any uh, autocoagulations. So, apa yang perlu buat, awak kena letak anticoagulant. Uh, last chapter, I did cover three types of anticoagulant that commonly used during the tapping process. So, you might want to flashback to go through that, that last chapter, what did I cover? And then the, uh, the second process is the collection, timely collection. So, the latex dripping, uh, the dripping latex for each of the three is not... Um, Equal. So, some of latex might drop uh, more latex. Some of the three did not uh, drop, uh, produce more latex as the others. So, but you need to timely collect the latex. First one, you want to avoid any 
uh, autocoagulation. The second one, you don't want to, uh, what we call that, discard any uh, uh, overflow of your LaTeX in the cups itself. So uh, let's say if you tap at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, immediately after you tap, maybe at 8 o'clock, you might uh, want to collect the latex that have been dripping in a uh, cup lumps, okay? And then you might repeat it again at 11 o'clock, etc. And the rest, uh, you will allow it to autocoagulate and collect it the next morning. Uh, this is what we call the timely collection in a field. Okay, to ensure LaTeX collection bucket are clean, uh, so you need uh, to ensure the LaTeX that you collect the uh, LaTeX is clean enough. Okay, ensure reception center tanks are clean, storage uh, tanks in shades because uh, direct sunlight may deteriorate your LaTeX, uh, uh, may darken your LaTeX itself. Segre segregations of poor quality LaTeX. If you encounter some sort of the uh, cups with any uh, three bucks, uh, three laces. Uh, so you might want to segregate asinkan, the poor quality of latex in other uh, container so that you did not mix it together. And then uh, transport of latex, uh, transport tank clean with disinfectant. Okay, every day when you transport your latex, you need to clean it and use some disinfectant. We don't want to promote any microbial activities or microbial growth. And then timely arrival at factory, it is must uh, doing um, timely arrival because uh, you need, uh, in factory, we need an adequate time for latex to be rest, to settle down any impurities, etc. And then we uh, want to make sure the latex that arrive in factory is uh, fully uh, uh, well preserved. You don't want to delay the transportation process itself because it might probably cause the autocoagulation. And a preservative addition is required. Okay, if uh, the latex received in a factory uh, shows a low uh, preservative, okay, the pH is very high, uh, sorry, very low, which is nearly to acidic or below the uh, natural, you need to add some preservative to maintain the preservation process. And uh, finally, the disinfectant must be able to kill all types of bacteria, which is the ideal one. In the shortest possible period of time, you need to have a disinfectant that uh, effective immediately when you add to your latex must be compatible with field and concentrated latex because most of the time, the latex industry uh, will produce uh, concentrated latex. So you want the, to have a disinfectant that also compatible with concentrated latex, not only for field latex only. Okay. Uh, 5.2 or subchapter 2, uh, 5.2 is latex collections uh, involving with the uh, tapping process, bucket and latex collection. Okay. For uh, letter collection, tapping process, tapper removes a cup lump and three laces. Okay, every morning, before you tap uh, your rubber tree, you need to remove your cup lump. The left over of your latex, the autocoagulated in a, uh, in the cups, okay? Uh, and then uh, remove the three laces, okay? The cup lump is left clean. Uh, cup, lump, cup lump is left clean. And ensure silver bugs do not drop into a cups during a tapping. Ini saya cakap tadi. So, bila awak toreh tu, tak naklah ada serpihan apa uh, bugs ataupun kulit kayu tu termasuk, kulit pokok tu termasuk dalam cups awak. So, you make sure that is uh, uh, free from any uh, silver or bug scraps. Okay. Bucket must uh, approval materials such as aluminium or steel and of course, uh, must be Keep clean um, all the time. Uh, okay. So every morning, uh, usually the practice for tapers ni, penurut getah ni, apa dia buat? Uh, early in the morning, they will tap the latex. Immediately afternoon or on the evening, they will start to clean their utensils. They will sharpen their knife, uh, tapping a uh, knife uh, so that the following mornings, they can... Uh, they are ready to tap uh, some more uh, rubber tree. 
And then uh, for uh, collection station, open sheets with no roof, no wall for better, uh, what we call that, uh, ventilation process. Okay, the roof should not met of atap or atap. Okay, tak boleh buat daripada atap yang kita pakai kan daun rumbia kan everything semua tak boleh. Sebab apa? There is a dirt. Okay, sebab tu kita tak nak nanti dia jatuh dalam kita punya latex dan kotor. The floor should be concrete and should have slope into surrounding drain. Kenapa? Okay, sebab of course during the collections um, akan ada spill. Akan tertumpah here and there. So you need to clean it. Okay, so awak tak nak dia berlantaikan tanah. So apa jadi dia akan um, latex tu akan rosak dan akan promote growth of uh, microbe. Okay, kita nak ada microbacteria dekat situ yang akan promoting more microbial attacks on your latex. Okay, so kena ada konkrit senang nak basuh. And slope into surrounding drain. So, dia akan ada bersudut lah. So, bila awak basuh, dia akan air tu akan jatuh pada satu kawasan saja for better drainage. Okay, adequate water supply so that the utensil and shit can be washed and keep clean. Okay, of course, bila saya cakap tadi, untuk bersihkan lantai, awak kena ada sumber air yang cukup. Okay, so that awak boleh basuh awak punya lantai tu, bekas-bekas awak, utensil, anything uh, over there. So that uh, awak tak perlu bawa benda yang kotor. Kalau katakan tak properly bersih pun, at least you remove as much as possible latex on your utensil. Okay. Uh, next one is a latex reception. Okay, uh, latex reception process method transportation a uh, latex from collecting station to the factory. Okay, the tappers pour their latex into static reception tank at the collecting station, from which it is discharged into a mobile transportation tanks and taken to the factory. It is discharged into a mobile transportation tank. The vehicle carrying or towing transportation tanks make a round of collecting station and return to the factory. The transportation tanks are delivered and left to the collection station earlier and collected when full. All anticoagulants should be added as soon as possible after the latex flows from the tree and addition to tapping cups is desirable. Okay, apa yang berlaku kat sini? Awak akan tuang semua latex dalam uh, static reception tanks lah. Okay, yang dekat uh, collection station. Okay, uh, bila uh, dah tuang tu, timely, this transportation ataupun tank ni akan digerakkan oleh transport awak. Okay, lori tu sendiri. Akan bawa, dia akan pusing around uh, the collection station. Uh, some field which is very big. Okay, you you have a multiple collection stations. So uh, these uh, tanks will move from one to another uh, collection station. They will collect all the latex. Okay, and bila dia dah penuh, dia tak tunggu tau. Dia akan terus hantar kepada factory. Okay, some uh, practice they will add some more anticoagulants. Okay, although during the tapping, awak dah letak anticoagulant, kasi pun awak tambah lagi. You don't want to promote any uh, autocoagulation during the transportation process. Okay, and then during the latex reception process, involve the strainer. What is strainer? Ini lebih kurang bahasa Melayu kita ialah penapis lah. Okay, 40 to 60 mesh stainless steel, which is strong, do not contaminate latex. So, dia akan ada lubang dia, mesh dia, 40 hingga 60. And it is made from stainless steel. Sebab dia perlu kuat. Okay, dan takkan uh, kotorkan awak punya latex lah. Tak nak ada, ada in, any impurities, any contamination during the process and you can easily clean after you use it. Ha, itu sepenting. The purpose of this trainer to remove sand, the small pieces of pre-coagulum. Okay, so uh, kalau uh, masa during process of collection ataupun transportation during the... Uh, what we call that, you transferring from the tanks to the factory might probably ada lah termasuk dirt kan, sands ataupun uh, ada yang area yang tak kena auto uh, sorry uh, anticoagulant tu dia start ada pre-coagulant so, uh, sudah bergumpal sikit so you will sieve awak akan tapis dia akan remove benda ni okay and then bumping must be prevented okay jangan hentak dia untuk turunkan latex awak apa yang perlu buat bila uh, penuh on your screen your mesh tu 
you need to remove the dirt. Okay. So by bila you bumping, you force this dirt to pass through the mesh itself. Okay. Apa you buat? Remove the dirt and then uh, if you need to clean it, clean it. And then baru sambung dengan you punya sieving balik. Okay. Uh, maksud tapis balik lah. Very gentle rubbing with a piece of creep may be advantageous. Uh, tak boleh hentak tapi kalau you nak apa, what we call uh, rub dia slowly, uh, very gentle, boleh. Okay, it is allowed. Uh, sebab you nak uh, apa, bantu dia punya flow of latex itself. Ensure there is no spill hole in the mesh. Uh, ini pentingnya yang ada stainless steel, uh, strainer. Sebab kita tak nak ada uh, lubang ataupun bocor ke mana-mana uh, mesh tu. Supaya uh, you will uh, sieve uh, almost uh, 80 to 80 to 90% of your impurities. Must be thoroughly washed before it is reused. Okay, ini saya cakap lah. Kadang-kadang during the process ni awak kena basuh. Awak baru boleh guna balik. Kadang-kadang... Uh, Ima- uh, after the, the whole process you kena basuh you need to wash it uh, regularly ok jangan tunggu sampai overnight dia dah apa, coagulate on the surface etc ok the tank usually capacity around 3,000 to 10,000 gallons and then chemical addition antioxidant to prevent darkening uh, example sodium metabolic sulfate ok because some of the uh, what we call these uh, collections they are what we call the prolonged process so you might want antioxidant to promote uh, to minimize the uh, darkening uh, tak nak jadi gelap lah tak nanti and other additives are added uh, macam uh, uh, what we call the anticoagulants some sort of preservative yang memerlukan uh, different types of auto, uh, special demands on the consumer itself ataupun final manufacturer lah Okay, and then the bulking. Slash of magnesium ammonia phosphate will slowly develop in ammonia preserved latex. Okay, last chapter, I did mention about the ammonia preservation system. Okay, ammonia, uh, mani- uh, ammonia preservation system reproduce the magnesium ammonium phosphate. Okay, apa yang berlaku, dia akan settle down by overnight. Okay, bila awak biarkan semalaman, dia akan ada mendakkan, mendakkan slash ni. Ni macam lumpur lah kita kata kan. So, this slash need to be removed. Uh, tapi, you need to allow it at least overnight to be settled down. The solid impurity which is sand particle will settle out in the bulking tank. Okay. Tadi saya cakap almost 80 to 90% of the sands will be uh, sieved during the process using a strainer. The remaining of 20 to 10% uh, kita akan allow this settle down dekat bawah bersama dengan slash tadi and it you remove it together with the slush. This solid can be readily separated by locating the discharge through above the bottom of the tank. Sebab tu, kebiasaannya, kita ada discharge through. Ada pilih lah dekat bawah tank yang besar tadi tu. Okay, bigger tank tadi tu. Dia ada pilih kat bawah tu. So that you can easily remove the separated uh, uh, slush ataupun magnesium, ammonium uh, phosphate dan impurity tadi tu sebab dia berat dia akan turun ke bawah dan awak akan remove yang bahagian bawah tu uh, sebab tu dia ada uh, a discharge through dekat bahagian bawah ok dan akhir sekali you akan produce your rubbers by additions of um, acids to promote our coagulation uh, such as kalau latex biasanya kita akan produce uh, light colored ataupun kita ada SMR 5L ataupun SMR 10 Ataupun Crips, ini illustration. By next chapter, I will cover what types of rubber that been produced in latex and uh, dry rubber itself. By then, uh, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh and thank you. I see you next chapter.